Saw Dudes, in today's episode, go f*** yourself. <laughs> The political compass. If you're not out or you're familiar with the political compass, today I'm going to give you a little lesson on the political compass. Uh, commies, fascists, and caps, uh, uh, sock libs. I, I think social democrat, social liberal, Cla classical lib. No, that um, socialism. Lib liberal socialist. Social liberal liberal socialist you know this end of the political compass is pretty hard to define um just because there's so many little nuances you can have and subcategories of it but all you really need to know uh is that socialism is when the government does stuff and the more stuff the government does the more socialist it is now that we got that squared away let's take a jab at every end of the political compass so that i can maintain an air of neutrality and not get canceled get a job figure it out get a life Get a driver's license. In all seriousness, the political compass test and the actual political compass are two different things. The political compass test that is administered by the organization that created this chart, and when I say that they created this chart, it's kind of like saying that a math teacher created the Pythagorean theorem. It's kind of biased, but... It, it... Hold on. Um... No. Blackbeard. Let's let's start off strong. He's de he's definitely uh, around here. He's definitely got one of these in the back of his pickup truck. Blackbeard is is the kind of dude to get popular for writing a book about his uh, his exploits as a Navy SEAL, and then Joe Rogan finds it, and then he gets invited on the podcast. Oryx d does not give give a f about any of this. He's he's like right right there. He knows he knows what he's doing, you know. He's like six foot four, a million pounds in muscle. He's like, I'm good at fighting, I'm good at shooting, and I get paid money because that's my profession. I am very good at those things. I get paid a lot of money because I'm very good at them. Goyo is strikes me as the kind of guy who got involved in law enforcement um, to deal with stuff in his community, probably. Maybe he, he could be a little bit further to the right, but I don't see him anywhere n near the authoritarian part. Just seems like a nice guy, you know? He, he He's probably doing it for the right reasons. Tachanka, I mean, like, <laughs> come on, bro. He's the only guy in the unit who just collects, like, World War II era Soviet machinery and equipment and uses it in combat. This, this would be like if Blackbeard was was bringing one of these things on the op. The Chanka is an old head. Old good, new bad. Blitz frightens me. Um, not, you know, and I'm not going to put him over here. When I say frightens me, that doesn't mean I'm putting him here. But I, I think he's in this quadrant just because he's the only dude who's willing to run into the bomb site with a ballistic shield. And, and just, and just like, literally just, like, beat the crap out of people. Everybody else has guns and kind of does the whole, like, okay, uh, you know, uh, take it slow. And he's just like, ah! He's, he's crazy. Blitz is crazy. Wamai is over here. Uh, he's part of a PMC, you know, he gets paid money to do security gun rootin' tootin' shootin' And he's a very meditative guy. Like, he's, he seems like a very self-aware and, like, self-reflective kind of person, so... I think he's he's one of those anti-status kind of types. Maverick is is like M Maverick has gone like all like through <laughs> he's he's gone like back and forth in this and then he's finally ended up like here. Like when he first signed up, he was here and then he got to Afghanistan and he was like, "Jesus, what what the what? What the f Oh my god, what? Oh my uh what I mean, wait, I'm not I'm not saying like abdicate private property. I've just well, I don't, but I don't really agree. Uh, geez, uh, fuck. Like I, I think the the older he gets, he's he's more just like screw you, screw this. The the state sucks. So do the pe everyone sucks. You all suck. Twitch is French. Okay, I think Tachanka is gonna be on his own <laughs> over here for the rest of the video. I I don't I can't think of anybody else who'd who'd fit the description. <laughs> Castle is is like around yeah i'd say like right on the middle between yeah this and this and that and that 
Castle is a black man in America and he's a cop. He's gotten into a lot of arguments with people in, in his lifetime, I'm sure. But, you know, because of his background, I don't think he's going to be like, Oh yeah, the government, great! I, I love it, it's amazing! <laughs> At the same time, he's like, yeah, cops. Kind of need cops, otherwise I wouldn't be a cop currently. Mozzie's a weirdo. I, I think he just got involved in this just to just to ride bikes and, and, and blow shit up, if I'm being honest. Mozzie is Yin and Gridlock is Yang. No. I can't. Stop. Fuck. Oh my god. There we go. They kind of balance each other out. That's why they're such good buddies. Of course, Thatcher is is like over here with his buddy Blackbeard. He's it, Thatcher, Margaret Thatcher. Not not related, but th that's literally the reference. This dude went to the Falklands and fought in the Falklands campaign. He's like the UK is awesome and fuck you, Argentina. He paints Union Jacks on his uh, on his electrode grenades. Vigil is from Redacted. It's, it's redacted, but I, we, we know where he's from. So he's definitely not over here. He's he's like, fuck, fuck that. I'm, I'm chilling. Doc is French and a doctor. He probably gets into it with Blackbeard at the bar all the time. He's like, you fucking idiot. Why don't you guys have health care yet? Maestro is, is up around here, I'd say. Maybe not too far up, but... Definitely top right. He's one of those, of course we need a strong border kind of guys. He'll get wine drunk at the bar and then he'll be like, Italy has the best food, Italy has the best women, Italy has the best this, Italy has the best that. And the alibi's like, are you fucking kidding? Have you seen what's happening in Libya? And then, and then Maestro gets really defensive, but he doesn't want to like engage in the argument. But then he does like the loud Italian guy thing in an argument where he doesn't want to get into, where he's like, bene, bene, okay, okay, I get it, I get it. God. Don't dare to play into it. And then Alibi is like, deficiente. But hey, that's why they're such good business partners, because they balance each other out. How, how long have I been working on this? How long? Oh my God, this video is going to be like an hour long. Pulse is a military brat and a nerd. So of course he's going to be over here somewhere. He's dating Habana and he probably, uh, he probably really appreciates Japanese culture because they have a strong work ethic. And he probably says it exactly like that, in, in, in that exact same tone of voice. I think Habana would be about here, like kind of a centrist, uh, a little bit to the right. And I only say that because as far as I know, uh, countries like Taiwan, South Korea, and Japan tend to be a little bit more to the right. 99% of it comes from um, us kind of being involved there to keep the commies out. Japan, in some ways, is actually a bit more capitalist than the U.S. Lesion. Lesion strikes me as the type of dude who has very strong opinions about this part. Uh, I'll just leave it at that. Malusi is definitely a libertarian left. She's a, she's a wildlife conservationist kind of person. Thermite is from Texas, and he's a Marine, former Marine. America. Mute is a is a gigantic tech nerd and probably a big Elon Musk fan. He did work at the British equivalent of the NSA. <laughs> IQ definitely thinks that the, the Germans have the most efficient, well-organized, and structured government in Europe, and everyone else is is just like a bunch of fucking idiots. She thinks Greece should not have been bailed out. She's like, the better off without them. Jaeger is an engineer and a pilot, so I think to him, politics are, are like at the bottom of his priority list. Probably thinks all of this is, is like dumb and, and stupid. <laughs> I don't talk politics. It's a waste of time. I lied about the Chanka. Cade... I, I think he, he seems like a very well-read person. And he could tell you the difference between Leninism, Stalinism, Trotskyism, the social is all, all the isms, all the all the Marxian, the Mar Marxian, Marxist, all the Marxist isms. He's Ben Shapiro's worst nightmare <laughs> because unlike a liberal college student, his arguments are thought out. Ace is 
chaotic neutral. He's Norwegian, right? So he's like, he'll he'll get into an argument with a guy in a Che Guevara shirt. He'll be like, he's like, no, we have a mixed system. It's different. Kali is the leader of a PMC. She probably read Atlas Shrugged and then like agreed with everything in it. Rook, ever since he was a little kid, basically was like, I want to be a cop. And then as soon as he became of age, he's like, I want to be a cop. So he's like, he's, he's, he's up here probably. Th this is just, I am running out of space. Can, let, we, let's fix this, right? Hold on. Let's... Is that gonna work? Uh, definitely move. Um, Blackbeard. Thatcher. Uh, Rook. And maybe not far, as far right. Pauls. Clash became a cop to address, like, social problems. So I don't... Th and, okay, we need to fix that. That's better. Sophia is a mom and a cop. Definitely around here. Sorry, not a cop. Not all, not all, not everyone in this picture is a cop. I'm just using the term loosely, incorrectly. Do, do as, uh, do as I say, not as I do. Mira's like, the Spanish government is, is awesome and does everything right. And, and, and the rest of Europe is dumb. <laughs> Jackal's a bit more skeptical. You know, he's, he's kind of like, I don't, I don't, I don't really know about that, but I'm not. I'm not a tanky. Smoke is... Smoke's... Smoke's a weirdo. The average person in feudal times have more rights than we do now, headass. Sledge and Thatcher get along and, and they're best... They're, be, they're best buddies. Capital. Duh. Ash is from Israel and she's a cop. Uh, so many people are mad at this point. There's, there's not a lot we can do about it. Hey man, if they didn't exit out of the video already, then I guess they're here to stay, so. Ying is definitely a, a sports mom. She, she gives off some, some Karen vibes. Uh, so I think she'll be around here. Glaz and Capkin, you know, I, I don't think they're like the old school commie nostalgic types. I think they're more new school Russian and they, they like the whole... You know, cops have a lot of authority and stuff, and that's cool. So they're gonna go up here. Fuse is, is a different story. I think he might be a little bit more removed from the pack. Montang's primary experience comes from quelling riots. I don't know. Where do you, where do you think he is? You tell me in the comments below. Frost is a hunter, uh, outdoorsy person pretty independently minded i would say so probably about eh. she she's probably more concerned about the libertarian to authoritarian part of it than the left to right so i think she'll be a little bit further down here bandit uh i don't know he was an undercover cop in a bike gang uh bike gangs tend to be pretty far up here so i don't think you know he'd be involved in that line of work unless he had really strong motivation and the opposite of this is this so he's probably down here somewhere valkyrie is probably a big women's empowerment kind of person so i think she'll <laughs> uh more left than tachanka tachanka and kate are definitely more authoritarian than her. Eh, let's just go with it. And I think Yana's probably chilling in this quadrant too with, uh, with Valk. Maybe she's a bit more of a hippie. I can see it. Who am I missing? Amaru. Amaru is definitely very liberal. She's, def she's probably around here. I forgot about Buck and Dakebi, and for some reason... The only transparent image I can find of Buck is with, uh, with his legs cut off, so sorry about that. Where are you, Dekebi? There you are. Okay. Cool. And Dekebi is, um, of course, very, very lib left. Buck is a stalwart French-Canadian, um, screw, screw the hippies kind of guy. Warden is from Kentucky, and he's a Secret Service agent. So, I don't think he's a Trump guy. I think he's more like an Eisenhower Republican. I don't think he's super, super far along the right. Uh, I think he believes in things like the interstate highway system. So I'm going to put him a little bit. Yeah, I think that's good. Cav? Um, I think she might be around 
here probably i don't think she's on the right economically but i don't think she's like full-on authoritarian left or full-on libertarian left i i don't think she's full-on libertarian left mainly because she's part of bope i don't think there's a lot of libertarians in bope nomad is a free spirit um I think she's around here. Very individualistically minded person, I think. Don't mess with me, I won't mess with you. Lion got into a fight with Doc. I think these guys are polar opposites. I think Lion is up here. Very uh, practically minded individual to a fault in a way, probably. Um, I, we're just gonna have to cover up some people's faces here. This is impossible. Nook is redacted, but there's evidence to suggest that she's part of like the Danish royal family? No libertarian lefts in the Danish royal family. Maybe libertarian right? I don't know. Maybe she's like the black sheep of the family. But I think she's... She's... I think she's up here. Fink is up uh, top right too. She's a no-nonsense Russian military woman. Maybe not quite over here, but definitely not over the line. And I just added Echo over here. I think I think Echo is just a little bit more top and to the right than Habana as well. So he's probably big on like free enterprise and, and corporate markets kind of functioning without a lot of interference from the government. Ella is an art student. Lib left. And how could I forget about Harry? Cut him out a little bit there. Uh, but yes, Harry... Harry is, he has the most radical opinion. Harry is right here with Ace. <laughs> right there. <laughs> Ace and Harry, grill masters. There it is. That's, uh, that's my siege political compass. I'm sure everyone is going to like this. No one is going to get mad. No one will thumbs down the video. It'll be a fun and enlightening conversation in the comments down below. Let's make it look nice and pretty for Twitter, okay? Let's do that. All right, here we go. This will be fun. Thank you guys so much for watching this whole lawn ass video. Um, we're gonna do more fun stuff like this. Uh, I have a couple of like tier list video ideas, you know, just for fun that aren't really like getting into siege mechanics or whatever. Waifu tier list? Oh, this is it. This is the video that gets me canceled. See you guys. Deuces. <laughs>